today I'm going to try a GCSE high tier maths question. So the question is A, B, C, and D, E. Are parallel lines. A, E, G, and B, E, F are straight lines. Angle A, E, D is 54 degrees and angle F, E, G is 70 degrees. Work out the size of the angle marked X. Give a reason for each state of the working. First of all, angle AEB is the opposite angle to angle FEG. So angle AEB is an opposite angle to angle FEG. And opposite angles are equal to each other. So if angle FEG equals to 70 degree, Angle AEB would also equal to 70 degree. Okay, so next, angle EAB and angle DEA are alternating angles. So, angle EAB and angle DEA are alternating angles. And alternating angles are equal. So if Angle DEA is equal to 54 degree. Angle EAB would also equal to 54 degrees. So angle EAB equals to 54 degree. Now, to find the last angle in the triangle, which is angle ABE, I have to take away the sum of angle AEB and angle EAB, which are these two, from 180 degrees, because the sum of all interior angles in a triangle equal to 180 degree. So 180 degree minus 70 degree plus 54 degree because sum of all interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. <clears throat> so 180 degree minus 70 degree plus 54 degree is 56 degree. So that is 56 degrees. Lastly, 
to find x, I will take away 56 degrees from 180 degree because the sum of all angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degree. So 180 degree minus 56 degree because sum of all angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degree. So 180 degree minus 56 degree is 124 degree. So that is equal to x. And that is the final answer for this question. So that's it. And bye.